Well, the new catch and release regulations on Mille Lacs Lake has people in the lake's country talking. Many people are wondering if the new regulations will have a negative impact on the local businesses surrounding the lake. Our Logan Gay visited some local businesses to hear their thoughts. The newly released DNR regulations has some business owners questioning how the DNR collect their research. People that fish this lake on a regular basis are not seeing what they say is going on in the lake. They all claim that there's many more fish of many more sizes in the lake, but that's not recognized by the DNR because their data does not show it. Although the regulations might not be ideal, most business owners are content that the lake will be open for fishing this summer. The uh, Mille Lacs Lake Fisheries Advisory Council uh, asked the DNR to keep the lake open. That was one of our main objectives. Communities that rely on the huge tourist attractions during the summer are a bit concerned that the regulations will have a negative impact on their businesses. People will come up here just for walleyes. Um, you know, this year may go someplace else. And in spite of the negative coverage Mille Lacs Lake has received, business and resort owners are expecting a great turnout this summer. The DNR and we are expecting a phenomenal bite, especially of those 2013 year classes. The guys that are coming up here this year, they're going to catch fish, they're going to have a good time. There's plenty of northerns in the lake. There's lots of smallmouth in the lake. The largemouth have got a pretty good population coming back right now too. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a good, good season again. Residents are hoping that the DNR will reevaluate the situation to prevent further issues in the future. In Isle, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The DNR is hoping that the use of artificial bait will reduce the hooking mortality. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.